Well, Furman football is heading into the 2023 season with expectations high. Both the coaches and the media picked the Paladins to win the SOCON this season. It's no surprise after Furman's success last year and the 52 players returning this year. Nearly half of those are starters from last year's squad. They went 10 and 3 overall and 7 and 1 in the league, just falling short of the SoCon title last year. But it's that missed opportunity at a title and the second round exit from the FCS playoffs that stick with the Paladins today, providing all the motivation they need through the offseason, certainly more than any preseason recognition has done. And I heard our guys, even our older guys, as far back as last winter, you know, we didn't, we didn't win anything last year. We had a really good year. It was a fun year, and, and we won some big games, but we really, you know, there are a lot of things we didn't get done that we want to get done. And You know, everybody's told us how great of a year last year was, but we all think of it, it wasn't nothing because we have nothing to show for it. We didn't get a SoCon out of it, and we definitely get a national championship out of it. So as good as a year, everybody's keep telling us it is. We're not satisfied with it. And so to get out here and prove how much better we can be this year, that's kind of motivation. So it was a good first day for sure. Furman has some individual accolades in the preseason as well. Running back Dominic Roberto is among 35 players named to the 2023 Walter Payton Award preseason watch list. It's given each year to the best offensive player in the nation. Roberto would be just the second Paladin to ever win the award since Lewis Ivory took it back in 2000.